Hi. <laughs> mm. Okay guys, good morning. I had a dream last night and I want to show you guys my thoughts. So we're here in fucking gorgeous Montana. And I'm like, what are we going to do for today's adventure? We already did a get ready in my raft. And I'm like, okay, I have a lot of new makeup that I brought from home. Where are we going to test it out today? And I sat here and I go, hmm, hello, we got to do a get ready in the woods, testing out new makeup. So I'm like, how are we going to achieve that? I really don't know. But there is a local hardware store here that I want to pop into. Maybe we can get a picnic table, get a bench, get some chairs, and just set up shop in the middle of the woods and test out a bunch of new makeup. So how are we going to achieve that? I have no idea. Let's pray we have some picnic tables or something. <gasps> Come here, girl. So I got a new friend here, and we're going to go to the hardware store, and we're going to go try and find Mommy a picnic table, aren't we? <laughs> Hi, honey. All right, you guys, so let me get dressed. We're gonna hop in the car and let's go see if we can uh, get ready in the woods. Switched outfits, bam, feeling like Hannah Montana. All right, everyone's waiting for us downstairs. You be a good girl, honey. Right, we found a hardware store close by. And who knows what the hell they're gonna have in here, but let's see what happens. Look at the cute little lawnmowers. Very thirsty, very on brand right now. We love that. Oh, I found some strong pieces of wood. Yeah, some, <laughs> um, some trim. Ooh, we got a mesh gate for our baby we haven't had yet. <laughs> oh, look at this. Do you think our dogs would like this? Wipe your paws. Wipe your paws. <laughs> they definitely would. Oh, I think yeah, it's down here. Oh, I'm so in my element right now. Should I, should, should I do it? My makeup standing on a ladder? Oh, okay. Costco, we love her. It's so weird, like trying to put, picture it. Okay, this is like the only. What is this one though? Six foot table. Oh, we don't need that, right? Yeah, no. no. I mean, that's a whole... Okay, six foot table is too aggressive, don't you think? It's a, it's the ones that we have to wear. Every, it's like the fold up ones. Oh, that's big. Look at that. It's like for a fucking wedding girl. Okay, should we do that one? It's up to you, baby. I mean, this this is soft. This has like a soft top that's a hard top. I mean, okay. Let's put this one back. <laughs> you think this will be good? How do I look? Just about right. <laughs> Where's this? Uh, just Rex. Oh, a resin shelf. We don't need her. Rex Rex. We don't need her. <laughs> I mean, we're literally leaving Montana in a few days. We're just gonna have to give this to someone. <laughs> to, uh... Do you want your own chair or you, or you think I mean... we're good with just one? I mean, we're good with one, and we have chairs at the house, too, if you want right. to sit in something comfier. All right, this is actually way easier than I imagined. Let's go check out, maybe it. grab some drills, and let's see what happens. Ooh, I found this Yeti pink cooler, so we have to get this. Maybe you have to help me get this cooler. It's sick. I heard that Yeti is very prestigious here in Montana, so we're going to have to oh, pick yeah, no. this up. My dad has one of these. He does? Oh, yeah, these are, like, the What's best the price ones? on this? A couple hundred bucks. Four hundred, almost. You better work. We gotta have this in my tutorial. Duh! The fact that we found a baby pink cooler is so iconic. All right, we all good? Yeah, we're all good. All right, guys, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. I just wanna be more humble, so I'm gonna <laughs> sleep back here. All right, everybody, we found a spot in the woods here in Big Sky, and I set up a table. We have everything ready to roll. Who needs a beauty room? Who needs keynotes and lighting when you got this, baby? So we got our cooler. We have all the makeup we're gonna try here. And of course, um, Ace Hardware gave us a flag. <laughs> Jeffrey trying to dig a hole for five minutes straight. This is where uh, Nate should step in. <laughs> try to ground me like we're on the moon. Did we ever go on the moon, anyone? Yeah, gone. This ground is pretty hard, baby. This ain't, this ain't going in. It's okay. I think the flag is actually going to distract from the makeup because it's, yeah. I mean, bitch, we love America. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll just keep it right here. Cool. Love you. Love you too, baby. All right, guys. What are we going to do? Where are we going to start? I already wet my beauty blender. I don't know what is about to happen out here. Um, but, by the way, I've been getting this brush tweeted to me so many times. New IT Cosmetics Superstar Foundation Brush. Now, if you haven't seen this yet, look at this brush. 
It's a literal star. Hi. That is crazy. So we're gonna try this out today, maybe? So besides that, we have a bunch of makeup here. Of course, um, we are here in the middle of the woods. You may hear birds, you may hear jackhammering. I don't know what you guys are gonna hear out here, but remember, we are very uh, far away from the studio. So um, let's dive in and let's start this full face first impressions. All right, before we start, we need to get some energy in this blood system of mine. Hi, my blood sugar is low. All right, let's hop into the Yeti. We're gonna do one Red Bull and then about five waters. You are gonna hear the wind in this video. You may hear some animals, some black bears, some elk. I've seen so many different types of animals out here. I love it. So first of all, everybody in the world, cheers. All right, so of course, we are in the sun a lot these last few trips, so I found the new La Mer Reparative Face Sun Lotion now. This has an amazing SPF in it. Um, the price, $135. So if you're like, bitch, are you out of your mind? Well, <sighs> we all know you can get sunscreen at Target, but this has an amazing uh, skincare anti-aging story to it. I wore it on the raft, and honestly, I did not get sunburned. I put it everywhere here. Everywhere that I didn't put got a little bit more damage. So does it really work? I think it does so far. I want to use it on camera to see what you guys think, but it does have that kind of like, ah, uh, it just smells fucking bougie and expensive. So let me get this skin moisturized and protected from the sun. Now, if you think that this price point is insane, don't worry, it is. All right, next item we're gonna use is, oh my God, there's a lot here. So the only thing I didn't grab is a new foundation, but I do have the new Tarte Rain of the Sea Quench Hydrating Primer. You guys know I love staying hydrated. So besides that little moisturizing moment with SPF, I do wanna add a little bit of this down. Ooh, I hear a chainsaw in the background. Who's cutting down some trees or doing construction? Hi, girl. Shh. Okay, <laughs> so the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer is $32, and it says that this is a vegan hydrating primer with antioxidants, um, and has a delicious coconut scent that melts into the skin to refresh and provide pollution defense. Well, there's not much pollution here in Montana, thank God, but we all know in LA, girl, you can barely see the Hollywood sign some days. Ooh, okay, now this has one fluid ounce. It's made in America. So, ooh, we love a product that has a little sealant. All right, ooh, that came right out. Oh my God, it does smell really good. All right, now I don't know how much is too much, so I don't wanna go overboard. So I'm just gonna press this into my pores and put this all over my face. The primer is on. Now, you never know what happens when you mix primer and SPF, so let's, oh girl, we got a text, hey. Now the thing is, remember, I did not bring a new foundation here, so I'm gonna go in with my bougie as fuck Dior Air Flash. I love this. It is a little windy, so let's see if this will even hit my skin. I'm a little scared. I feel like we're in the raft again. Oh wow, okay, it's working. Okay, now there is wind blowing in my face, so I'm kind of panicking because I want to hurry and blend as quickly as possible. So let's get to buffing. All right, now we do gotta blend very quickly because we all know the sun's out, the wind's blowing, and just like the raft, <laughs> products are drying way quicker. Just like the air balloon, I was like shook when that concealer dried in like 30 seconds. Foundation is blended. The lighting is a little tricky being out here in the woods. But, so far, so good. All right, now, for concealer today, we have the brand new Ultimate Coverage Long Wear, allegedly an anti-crease formula from Becca Cosmetics. Now, this is water-resistant, full coverage, instant and fully camouflages, dark circles, blemishes, discoloration, long-wearing formula. Okay, well, let's see about that. This is what the component looks like. It's um, very cute, kind of, you know, it's standard, very Becca. You know, it's not anything like mind-blowing, but their formulas do tend to kill. Ooh, okay, I might be using this one. Sometimes brands never have like a really light shade for me. So we have these three shades. I don't even know, honey. The lighting is a little tricky. Okay, we might go in with this one. This shade is called Birch. All right, now this formula is $29. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, that was a little weird. We're gonna zoom in on this. When I opened it up, like a lot of product is now not there. Um, I know the wand and when the doe foot you put it in, it's going to push up product a little bit more. See that? So maybe that's for the weight and for filling purposes. They didn't want to overflow it, but um, ooh, okay, smells very skin carry. Nothing crazy. Let's do one side in case this is not the right color. Oh wow, this feels thick. Okay, let's just do one side right here and just see how we feel about it. 
Ooh, this is full coverage, girl. I've tried a few concealers lately and they haven't really been up to par. Not sure how it's looking here in the woods, but. All right, now this is what happens when you're outdoors. My eye just got watery as I was blending and that never happens. It's happened a few times on this trip. Where's that paper towel? I'm literally gonna take a piece of that and shove it in my eye. <laughs> this is what happens when you troubleshoot and you click pause. We're gonna let you guys see what happens. All right, now this concealer is definitely full coverage. It did the job and it looks very drastic from this side to this side, so. So far, so good. How will it wear? Who the hell knows? We will see in a little bit. So let me do the other side and conceal a little bit more. All right, as the concealer is like blending out, it's a little like weird right here. It's kind of like dry and tugging. I know it's supposed to be full coverage and this beauty blender is damp. Um, but like this side looks great. I don't know why this side's being a little weird. I'm gonna add in a tiny bit more. Hopefully that doesn't ruin it. But this is what happens during first impressions. You never know what is going to happen. And if the concealer looks awful, I'm gonna cry. So let me add in a little bit more where it was tugging and pulling away. Settling really weird under my eyes, which is a rarity on this channel. So, all right, we're gonna push through. Hi, full face. I'm a little scared. All right, before it's too late, let's try to set this. Now, I've been getting so many requests to try the new Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. We all know Shape Tape Concealer, uh, has been a very huge hit in the beauty community. Shape Tape Foundation, go watch my review. All right, so this little guy, is there one shade? We're gonna have to go look online. It just says Shape Tape on the back. There's no shade. Um, let's open her up. Okay, so you get a little mirror, you get the compact, you get the little thing. Oh, I gotta dig this out now with these nails. Oh boy. Hi, can I borrow your chainsaw? Oh, hold on, almost got it. People with nails at home are like, mm, I see that struggle, girl. Mm -hmm. And then everyone else is like, this is why we don't have long nails. I can't get this. <laughs> yes, thank you. Ooh, it's like a netting, okay. So it came with a brush, setting superpower powder brush. You guys know I love using a damp beauty sponge, but, ooh, okay. Um, okay, this feels very lightweight. There's like a weird little thing at the tip here. No idea what that's for. Okay, so let's just press in here. Ooh, a lot's coming out. Oh, honey, you better watch this Gucci. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna put this under my eyes. That's a lot of product. So I shook it and it all came off. I'm so sorry. All right, let's try it again. Now it's saturated, let's go in. Now I normally would never say this, but this brush is almost like too fluffy where it's not like really packing it on. It's just kind of like, like, huh. I also feel like it should have been a little smaller to put under the eyes. This is a little massive. Oh yeah, the concealer under this eye is worse than this one. Look at that. Ooh, boy, let's try that, because this under eye is not cute. Ooh, okay. Whatever combo I just used today is not it, because this looks rough. All right, now we're gonna set everywhere else that I put concealer. All right, guys, I think it's on. Is it the best formula on the planet? I don't know, because the concealer and the primer and whatever else I did did not mix very well together, so. Normally this does not happen, but uh, you gotta troubleshoot and you just gotta push through it. Also you guys, remember when I got really high before the video and I forgot to try this brush? I remember that too. Okay, so we have the foundation on, we have the concealer, we have the setting, every, we're, we're set, allegedly. I also wanna set my face all over. So there is a new Urban Decay All Nighter Long Wear Mattifying Weightless Waterproof Setting Powder for the entire face. Now this is allegedly gonna make my makeup last throughout the night. Um, it feels like nothing, yet instantly sets foundation, controls shine, and creates a blown out effect. So let's open her up. Ooh, we love a water droplet thirsty moment. Okay, honey. All right, now opening this up, it does look like this. And I'm just gonna take a little foundation brush and let's see what happens. I'm like, girl, this might be like, a good powder because my skin's looking a little better. We started off very rough. Them under eyes I don't think can be fixed. So I'm gonna pack some under here maybe too. Ooh, Urban Decay. Okay, girl. All right, my skin's looking a lot better. Uh, I feel a little bit more confident. Oh my Lord. Um, we will see how this wears throughout the day, of course. So we'll put her over here. Now, what are we gonna use, bitch? I need some bronzer on this face. So today we're gonna go in with the new Smashbox Ablaze face palette. We have blush, bronze, and highlight. Let's open this up. Uh, ooh, there's two of each, okay. It feels heavy, you guys know we love expensive packaging. 
Um, of course, it is a little minimalistic. Let's open her up. This is the palette. Very peachy, very summer. Okay, all right, so I'm actually gonna take a fan brush and Lipstick Nick does this all the time. And she loves contouring with this fan brush. So I am going to go in, what is the shade called? Filtered. We love her. Oh, oh wait, is that the right one? Or is that suntan? It's called suntan, sorry guys. All right, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on the brush. We don't know how pigmented this is. There's a little bit of fallout, as you guys can see, but not too crazy. Ooh, that bird sounds cute. Hey, girl. All right, in the woods, you guys, it's kind of hard to really tell if I'm going heavy-handed or not. Now, we know, bitch loves us. We love some product. All right, I think that's okay. Now, I love this trick with the fan brush because you can really get in that hairline if the wind allows us. Oh, wow. Ooh, the wind is coming. Look, I haven't even moved. So let me just take this hair clip. All right, wow, that was heavy-handed. We love her. We love being bronzed. And then I turn over here in the sun and I'm like, ooh, it's actually really pretty. Chris, tell everyone what just happened. Uh, this little bird right here just flew on my hat. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Hi, honey. What if she attacks me? I get attacked on camera. Hi, darling. Do you want to perch up on my brush? Oh, look, she's looking at my shoes. Uh-huh. Don't hate, girl. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh my God, she's not moving and I'm like so close. Okay, girl, we're gonna finish this tutorial. <laughs> Uh-huh, this is a Morphe M310. Great. This bronzer shade is actually really cute. Now I'm looking at my table and I don't have a blush. Thank God there's a blush in here. So let's dive into shade Claim to Flame. All right, so now we're gonna dive into this blush shade. Ooh! Oh, hey. Oh my God. There it is, it's right behind you. Where? Oh. Where is it? Why What's does up, it wanna hang out with me? I love this. Hi, honey. You want a Red Bull? Oh hell no! I want some. I want some food. We got a puppy underneath me. We got birds behind my head. Come here. Hi, girl. So now we're gonna dive into this blush right here. This one is called Claim to Flame. And let's see how pigmented this brush, this brush is. Let's see how pigmented this blush is. Brush, blush, blush. No. Bare. Okay, it's sheer. I don't mind a sheer blush. Buildable is fine as long as it's like. There we go. Okay, it's cute. Maddie, this little baby. Flew on Chris's hat, then <laughs> flew right over my head, and it's been just chilling and watching. We love it, and uh, we love a natural subscriber. I see you, girl. Look, at you. we're looking right at each other. Mm. Hey, <laughs> that is so funny. This palette is very cute. Um, I don't want to use the highlight because I have 12 other highlighters in front of me. So let's move on for highlighting, guys. We got a headache. We have so many highlighters. We have the new Glam Glow Glow Powder. This has hyaluronic acid infused uh, powders in here, which is crazy. So let's take her out. A lot of people said this is very Jeffree Star packaging. I love the pink. Oh, it's like a weird rubber silicone type of. I wonder if it says anything on here. This feels crazy. Use a brush, sweep powder over your cheekbones, bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, and just highlight. Okay, great. All right, so we're gonna dip in a little bit here. We have the new Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. This just launched in Sephora, and I was like, girl, you know, I love me some Pat McGrath. I wanna show you this in the sun. It is so stunning. We'll hop in the sunlight in a second. So let's layer these. I have a third highlight. This is the new Stila All Over Glimmer Heaven's Dew in shade Silver Lake, which is a city in Los Angeles. And it looks like this. Now I snapped this weeks ago and never got to use it. And it looks like a little orb. And it is what? Oh my God, I thought the bird was under me. I'm like, what's happening? Hi. Oh my God, look you guys. Are we best friends or what? what? What are we gonna name you? We're just gonna name her Montana. Oh, girl, let me see. Oh, 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 the sun's moving. Okay, I might have to scoot back in a minute, you guys, but let's try highlighting real quickly. All right, we'll start off with the Glam Glow Highlighter. This is $42. All right, now with the Morphe M510, we're gonna go in between these two shades right here. Now, you may not see the glow very well in this weird lighting here. We will go into the sun in a minute. Did the bird just leave me? Oh, it has a friend. Hey. It's like, it's like, yeah, I need to go have sex. Bye. All right, let's try it over here, guys. Okay, kind of hard to tell. Oh, it smells like the setting spray. Okay, I want to layer. I'm all about layering. So same brush. We will dip into the Pat McGrath uh, little skin trio. Now this retails for over $50. Um, come on, tax. And I'm going to dip into the middle shade. It looks so pretty. What's it called? Girl, all this packaging. It is called Fine Gold. A lot of gold today. Swirl it on the dome. I feel like this in the sun might be like epic. Wow, in the, in the shadows, this highlight does not look cute. And then when the sun hits it from behind, it's like, good morning. All right, guys, I'm gonna put a little bit more on my face and then let's go in the sun and see how this really looks. All right, let's put my cheeks in the sun. How does it look, Maddie? It's blinding from here. Is it? It's so pretty. 
Ooh, I have to close my eyes, you guys. It's brutal. Oh, wow. It looks so pretty. Hi. All right, son. How are we feeling? Oh, wow. That is intense. All right, you guys. So also, the Stila um, Silver Lake Heaven's Dew. We call this the putty highlighter. I reviewed this on my channel, but look at this. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. It's like diamonds. Look at that. Let's just cover the whole top of my hand. Look at that. Oh my god, that is pretty. Put that all over your cheekbones. You can put that wherever you want. Look at that glisten, girl. Like, what I love to do is take a little bit of this with the other ones and just kind of. Who doesn't want to wear three highlighters at the same time? Snatched. All right, you guys, I am glowing to the gods. We just scooted the table back a little bit because the sun is creeping in um, and we are out of our element. So, mixing three highlighters at the same time, necessary. This was stunning. This is actually really cute. I think so many brands have these shades already, so I don't think this is a necessity. But this, though, girl, this looks. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so moving forward, let's look at my face and see what we're missing here. Hi, skin. Oh, this skin is looking a little, it's looking better. All right, so shockingly, I have no new eyeshadow palettes here on the table. I've reviewed a lot of palettes lately, um, but of course I have my thirsty palette here. So I'm gonna quickly pop in a few of the brown shades on my lid and do a very minimal little uh, bronzy moment and I will be right back. All right, we just did two little shades from the Thirsty, actually three, Kumquat, Subtle, and Filthy Rich. Very, very minimalistic today, girl. We're in the woods, okay? Don't try me. Now, I do have a brand new mascara from Hourglass that I really wanna try. This just came out. This is called the Caution Extreme Lash. I love the component. It feels expensive. It's gold. It feels like a weight. It feels like a wand. Welcome back. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a sturdy wand, baby. All right, so I'm just gonna do one eye and then let's see what the difference looks like. All right, it got a little clumpy on this end. Let me just fix it, there we go. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell a huge difference from uh, all the crazy lighting in here, but here of course is the eye with full mascara, and this has literally nothing. So, what are your guys' thoughts? It definitely made them more amplified. It gave them a cute look. Is it my favorite right now? No. It's just doing what a mascara does, which is making your lashes look uh, a little fuller. Is it like extreme where I'm like gagging? No. So let's do the other eye and see how we feel. All right, now this mascara does retail for $29. Is it worth it? I don't know yet. It's not doing anything like mind blowing. I know it's supposed to be like extreme. God, that concealer did not love my skin, you guys. I'm looking close up and I'm like, ooh, girl. I'm fucking looking a little rough over here. All right, next up, we have some lip products I wanna play with. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet, but. All right, so I have a bunch of lip products. I'm just gonna swatch some. I don't know what's gonna happen or what I'm gonna wear, but I've been dying to try this new lip gloss from Bite Beauty. It is called the French Press lip gloss and this has like literal coffee like in here um i don't want to say it wrong so we're gonna go in the app real quick oh girl what'd you do you trying to look for that bird hey <laughs> all right guys i'm on the sephora app one second all right so this retails for 22 dollars. it is a coffee inspired lip gloss that has a creamy sh uh, shine in warm java hues now i was reading something about this and this literally has hydrating coffee butters Pressed coffee oil is in here. That is crazy. Now let's see what this smells like. This is in shade flat white. Ooh, okay, cute little component. Let's open her up. Oh my God. You like coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Just smell this, please. I'm dying. Okay, besides that, you guys, we also have the new NARS Orgasm Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer. Isn't that amazing? Whoa. How That's do you cool. feel about it? This one's great. Right? So let's watch this just for fun. Ooh, it looks like a pretty little nude gloss. Okay, now this one. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, guys, here's this one. Oh, wow, that's way more opaque. Okay, which of course it depends on the look you're going for. This is like a full coverage lip gloss. And then we have these new products from Marc Jacobs. This is the Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. I'm like, girl, what does that even mean? Now this is in shade Preach. It's a sheer lip gloss in a stick with irresistible melt-on cushiony texture that delivers condition and color with a high shine finish. Girl, I don't know what to use. There's so many options. Let me just try this one first. We have a clicker. Ah. Now remember, I have foundation lips. They look very nasty, so, so sorry, world. 
This has shine. I definitely should have exfoliated my lips with my own lip scrub beforehand. I did not do that, you guys. I'm so sorry. But this is going on beautiful. I'm like, this looks stunning. I also have another pink shade I want to definitely wear soon. But by the way, this packaging, A+. Plus. Love this component. Ooh, the sun's hitting me in the face right now. Okay, you guys, we have to wrap this up before the sun ruins this video. Um, I want to add a little bit of this on here. I can't help it. Like, let's just really take it there. Let's put on so much gloss, my mouth hurts. That looks delicious. All right, you guys, the journey is about to end. The sun is about to come pouring in and I have moved back like three times in the shade here, but we have a full face of makeup on. Okay, guys, um, I wanna give some final thoughts. I wanna give a recap. Now, of course, this makeup has not been on for hours. It's only been on for a little bit, but this, of course, is a full face first impressions video. So what are our first impressions? Let's look at the table and let's go down the line. Primer, I have no idea if it really worked because it didn't feel that hydrating to me. Now, the foundation I put on, of course, was the Dior Air Flash. I've use this forever and normally my skin looks snatched. I was not in love with how it looked today. Maybe it was the SPF and the primer together. Sometimes things don't mix. Shit happens. We know, right? Something I'm a little scared about is the concealer. I would love to try this on a day where I don't use all those products in one, but overall this reminded me of that Tarte concealer, not Shape Tape, the other one that I tried uh, like a few weeks ago. Almost the same formula where it just felt almost like too pancakey, too like, I don't know. It didn't distribute correctly on my skin and it definitely looks draggy and it pulled here and I do not like this. Like I kind of want to run upstairs on the hill, run to the house and wipe this off so bad. This I love. I know this definitely protected my skin from the sun. It's very pricey so girl. Now Moving on, I really liked this all-nighter powder. This is the waterproof setting powder. Does it really work for a, a, a full moment? Maybe we should go to Raging Waters later. But I really like this formula. It was beautiful and it made my skin look pretty. Now, the under eye shape tape setting powder. I wasn't the biggest fan. I definitely want to try it with shape tape, but this weird kind of banana-y yellow color, um, I don't know. I think they definitely need like seven more shades for this. You can't just have one because it was not universal. It kind of left a yellow shadow kind of cast on my skin. Oh, the sun's coming in hot. Look at the highlight though, though. I'm not mad at it. Okay, moving on guys. I really like this Smashbox little palette. I thought the contour color was beautiful. I love the little blushes. Easy on the go if you just want a travel moment. Also the mascara. Nothing to write home about. It's cute. I'll definitely like keep it in my travel kit, but I wasn't like blown away by it. Now the highlighters. Look at my hand, you guys. It's literally glistening in the sun. It's so pretty. Now the Glam Glow one, like I said, it was nothing mind-blowing. I think that every brand has these shades, whether it's Maybelline or Becca or any brand. These three shades are, are a staple, I think, in so many brands. So the formula, she's cute. It's creamy. It gets the job done. And I like the skincare story. If it really does have hyaluronic acid and does it work, we shall see in the future. And the Sublime Skin Girl. I really love these. I love the packaging. I love everything Pat McGrath has been doing lately. And these are just so blinding. Look at that, you guys, pure metal. What else? Of course, the Stila one was stunning. Um, and the lips, I like all the lips. I'm gonna recommend all of these. These are beautiful. I love this. Like whatever's happening right here, I wanna recreate all the time. It is stunning. All right, you guys, I don't have any new setting sprays. I'm so sorry, but we tried on a lot of makeup today. All right, you guys, what are your thoughts? Sound off down below. I'm in the middle of the woods right now, so I'm gonna go for a hike. We're gonna go eat. And then um, by the time you guys are watching this, I'll be back in Los Angeles. But um, thank you for watching this amazing makeup journey. And I will see you guys on the next one.